Hi there. Fear is a feeling that has been very common to the human race since the beginning of time. Even our primitive ancestors faced a fear of the unknown or incomprehensible. Over time, these fears began to translate into various supernatural phenomena, which included ghosts. According to the theory, these lost spirits live in the most terrible places and scare people with their antics. In today's issue, we will try to understand why people are fearful of ghosts and what conclusions scientists have come to in this area. One of the darkest places on Earth is the Mansfield Reformatory, also known as the Ohio State Reformatory. This prison began to be built in 1886 and functioned until the 1990s. Over the entire period of work in the prison, more than 200 people died, including several workers and overseers. Most prisoners died of serious infectious diseases such as tuberculosis and flu. In addition to these terrible statistics, another gloomy and tragic story appears in the chronicles of the correctional facility. July 21, 1948, two prisoners managed to escape from prison, but they did not just break free. Their main goal was revenge. The criminals made their way into the house of one of the prison guards and brutally beat him. They dealt with the entire family of the officer, killing his wife and 20-year-old daughter. Later, their bodies were found in a cornfield near the house. A year later, they managed to find the escaped prisoners. Two days after the capture, they were sentenced to death and executed in an electric chair. By 1978, the correctional facility contained more than 2,000 criminals. One of the authorized human rights workers filed a lawsuit on the prison, saying the prisoners were in terrible and inappropriate conditions there. In 1990, the state colony of Ohio was closed. After a while, the walls of the once terrible place of imprisonment of murderers, fraudsters, maniacs, and other dark personalities became a kind of local attraction. To some extent, the abandoned prison building acquired the status of a visiting card of the city, and the locals even organized here an unusual type of tourism for thrill-seekers from all over the world. Those who want to tickle their nerves can come to the old prison and get acquainted with the local ghosts of the former inhabitants. Many are convinced that with such a gloomy story, the spirits of the criminals still languish in their abandoned cells of the Mansford Reformatory. Well, this building became even more popular after the film The Shawshank Redemption, which was shot in one of the parts of the building. But the Ohio State Reformatory is not the only place with such an eerie and cruel past. And of course, this is not surprising with such stories, based on real facts, give rise to unprecedented tales of the supernatural and ghosts wandering along the corridors. Many tourists have visited such houses and have experienced fear and horror, chilling blood in their veins. Therefore, while many researchers are trying to prove the existence of ghosts, others are interested in understanding and explaining the blind faith of people in such a phenomenon. So why do we really think ghosts exist? Why are we afraid of them? What is the nature of humans' fear of ghosts? The scientific community from around the world has repeatedly conducted research to understand the human reaction to ghosts on the premises. So British scientists from the University of Manchester during the experiment proved that ghosts are the result of self-belief. In order to confirm their theory, experts conducted a test in which two groups of volunteers took part. Everyone involved in the experiment was taken to an old building that was once a theater. One was told that earlier in this place they saw ghosts wandering around the old halls of the stage. In general, they came up with a legend according to which the concentration of outwardly forces in the house is quite high. The other group of volunteers, on the contrary, was told a boring story according to which the old building was just under reconstruction and not a word was said about mysticism. A few hours after being in an abandoned theater, all participants were asked to share their impressions of the place, their feelings, what the atmosphere was like, and what the overall mood was. As a result, most of the people from the first group, who were assured of paranormality, spoke about very extraordinary feelings. They claimed they were not comfortable, they were visited by anxiety, fear, and feelings as if they were being watched. That is, they fully felt the presence of ghosts. The second group of participants was calmer. None of them noticed anything suspicious or out of the ordinary. 
They just saw that it was a really old theater building and did not supplement the picture with any other supernatural images. Thus, the researchers concluded that in this case, the reduction is only a game of the mind and imagination of man. People themselves assured themselves of what was not in reality. In essence, it was a session of unconscious self-conviction. This, of course, does not prove that abnormal phenomenon does not exist, but it leads to certain conclusions. Other experts found that people believe in ghosts when they are lost in space. So, an international group of scientists studied why some people are more likely to believe in supernatural powers while others are not. They examined the issue from a medical point of view and found out what is the psychological basis of such visions. To do this, an experiment was conducted. The volunteer group consisted of only a few people. They were blindfolded with a dark scarf and taken to different rooms. They were in complete darkness and silence. After such disorientation, scientists simulated that part of the brain that is responsible for determining the location of a person in space with pulse signals. At the end of the experiment, virtually all volunteers claimed to feel weird and alarmed. It seemed to them that there was someone else beside them in the room. They did not understand what to expect next and therefore began to panic. After analyzing all the results, the experts realized that all this belief in the reality of the supernatural was caused by a sense of disorientation. When a person loses the sense of a place, he subconsciously gives rise to a fear of the unexplicable or unknown. In fact, this is a protective reaction of the brain. That is, our fears give rise to this belief in ghosts. Our doubts, worries, secret phobias are the keys to the birth of paranormal legends. Uncontrolled fear arising in a stressful situation is called a phobia. Typically, such anxiety is based on terrible memories and is rooted in the reputation of those unpleasant events. In addition, scientists came to the conclusion that such sensations can be fully called evolutionary emotions since they arise in ancient people even in primitive times. Fear of the unknown, death or darkness is the main phobia that accompanies the issue of faith in ghosts. Phasmophobia is a fear of ghosts. The word comes from the Greek language and means a supernatural being, phantom or deep fear. Many are afraid of ghosts, both children and adults. These feelings were deeply rooted in us from a young age and were regularly fueled by TV programs, religion, and culture. For those who suffer from a strong phobia in front of ghosts, life can be a real test. Many are afraid to go in the dark, walk in old houses, and uninhabited places. Such people cannot stand loneliness and always live in stress because their subconscious mind gives all kinds of paranormal images. But what about those among us who are not afraid of ghosts, darkness, or the unknown? Experts in the field of psychology advise simple techniques that will restore a calm state. The whole point of the problem is attention. Any fear begins with a thought about some terrible images in your head. Only then comes the reaction of the body. Therefore, the first thing to do is to notice such thoughts. Switch those to positive ones. This must be done quickly. Immediately begin to forcibly think about something good. Make your mind switch to another wave. Remember something joyful, funny, or good. Focus on it as much as possible and do not switch it. Fear like anything else that is negative cannot be defeated by struggle. You just need to switch your brain to something positive and then after some time the fear will begin to decrease and then completely leave. This practice is suitable to neutralize any negative thoughts and panic attacks. You need to remember one thing, what your attention is directed to, then strengthen it. If for fear, then fear will intensify. If for joy, then joy will increase. And that's all for today. Write in the comments, do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever had a meeting with them? Or do you think this is all just in your imagination? And don't forget to put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.